Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Um, I'm just going to make sure my video is up and running, and then um, we'll give you a second for everybody to join in. And So today I am going to be working with um, this little one-step looper here. So it's from Vintage. Yeah, Vintage. It's a one-step looper. It's super awesome. Um, just helps if you're doing any loops for it to go so much quicker. Um, especially for making a chain. So if you guys didn't check out the picture on this event, we're going to be creating... A crystal chain today now you can be doing this with gemstones as well um, but I thought the crystals went perfectly with all the sparkly gems that we uh, gemstone pendants we have okay looks like we are up and going good all right so first things first is I am using eye pins today um, I will show you how you can also take some wire if you don't have any eye pins handy and um, nice thing about that is you can use any color of eye pens um, along with wire when I show you that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and I'm using this little purple color here and I'm just going to empty it in this little container here. Just kind of keeping it all together. When you guys join, just give a hello, give a little shout out. I think today I'm I really, really am liking this amethyst piece. So I'm going to bring these up a little closer. I really like the purple and the jaggedness of this guy here. Um, but I also think if I had all the chakra colors, this could be really fun. Good morning, Barb and Julia. Um, and then, of course, we have our fun tree of lives. But I, I'm thinking with this purple crystal I found, I'm going to do this guy today. Lots of fun little pendants, so, so easy. Okay, so you're going to want to go ahead and grab your one-step looper. Um, it does set out really wide, but that's going to, I'll show you why. So we're going to go ahead, you're going to take that eye pin, and you're just going to go ahead and put one of your crystals, or you could put a gemstone as well. Um, I'm going to make sure I hold this end, and then you're going to slip it through the tool. So you're going to want it to go in between this little knob here in this and then on the other side I'm gonna flip this tool you can see there's a little hole so you're gonna want your eye or wire to come through there or your eye pin and then you're just gonna go like this oops drop the guy and it just makes a little loopy doopy on it so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that a couple times I'm going to empty these eye pens over here. I just want to get, I'm going to go ahead and get a couple done so that I have them and I can just go ahead and start connecting them to make a chain. The nice thing about, um, I'm trying to go slow so you guys can see this. Sometimes when you go slow, it doesn't work quite as well. I will say sometimes I do get my wire, um, like this guy, I just kind of yanked him out off camera. <laughs> uh, it will kind of get stuck in here every now and then, so I just kind of have to wiggle it on out. Now, let's say you aren't a fan of eye pens, you don't use them for anything else. I'm going to show you quickly how you can go ahead and take wire, and you can also create your eye pens that way, or your loops. I always have a little wire straightener. If you guys don't have one of these and you work with wires, this is amazing. So you're just going to, gosh, I'm dropping everything everywhere. It's Sunday, right? 
You're just gonna put your wire in there and you're gonna oops, I gotta let go and squeeze and then you're just gonna pull it out the other end. And it really just straightens that wire out. Um, when you, the straighter your wire is, the quicker and more efficient doing your things are. So again, sticking that wire out the end, just like the eye pins, you can create it. You can work with it longwise as well. So you don't have to cut it every time. Where's the hole? Mm -hmm. Can't get it in the hole right now. Okay. One thing I do try to pay attention to also is see how my loop is, the opening is on this side. I'm gonna wanna hold that downwards. So when I put it through my one step looper here, when I go to make the loop, it's gonna come up this way. So I want them to face opposite ways. That's just how I'm gonna have mine designed. You can definitely have them facing the same way. So I believe this guy, I won't put pieces. I think I did all opposite. Oh, no, I got one right here. I'll show you the difference. Not much, it's just a personal preference. So this is the one where the two loops are facing the opposite way, and then this one, they're both facing the same way. I just like the way um, when the loops face the different ways, because I think it looks like a more finished piece but again, that is just a preference. In that first loop, if you're working with your own wire, I think this is a 20 gauge. I'm working with a 20 gauge. Um, oops, sorry. You don't have to, the first loop, you don't have to go ahead and like make sure your bead is on there. You're just gonna go ahead and do your first loop and then you're gonna put that bead on. And then you're gonna put it in the one step looper. Again, making it nice and snug. You guys, you have no idea how much this little looper has saved me on time when I have done my own chain necklaces um, it is so handy. I did have kind of pre-did some of my chain because this would be a much longer video um, if I didn't. So I don't want you guys to be like, oh my gosh, she's so speedy. I wanted to pre-warn you while I go through this. I wish I was that speedy. So um, I actually am going with a look of connecting jump rings in between. You can, I will show you in a sample you can just connect them together. They're just a different look. It depends on what you guys prefer. Um, I'd love to know what you guys prefer too. This one's just a little bit more spread out. So I can get a necklace that fits like right in the middle of my chest with only one of those crystal eight inch crystal strands if I go ahead and put those jump rings in between. And that's kind of why I chose to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to take my jump rings. Always have two little pliers when you're doing this. And I'm just going to go ahead and connect two of them at a time. Make sure, though, you're going back in. Oops. Make sure you go back and look at your loops because they don't always close 100%. So just kind of close them a little bit, making sure they're nice and close. They're not gonna come apart and break your chain. That is not something you want to be wearing a beautiful stone pendant and then your chain come undone. That's no fun. So I find it easiest Though, if I'm doing this or connecting any, I do them at two at a time. And then I can connect those two and it's just a gradual process. Again, making sure all those loops are nice and closed. You don't want them to be popping off. 
your jump ring. Janice likes a um, chain with the jump rings. I do too. And I think I'm using six millimeter jump rings today. Again, it's all a preference. I also love purple, so that might be why I was drawn a little bit to the amethyst piece today. I'm gonna, I'll show you, we have one of our pendants that actually, um, it lays horizontal, so it was a really pretty piece to work with. Oops. Yeah, these guys connect so easy. Have any of you guys worked with a one-step looper before? I know at first I was like, can it be that awesome? And then once I used it, oh my gosh, it was life changing. <laughs> we do have a bigger one step loop or two. So um, one that makes a little bit bigger loops for you. It is such a game changer. I mean, last night I was playing around and making um, one of these pieces I'm going to show you just so that, cause I loved it. I love the piece and I love the color that was used to work it. Um, but I did it so quickly. I think I was sitting there watching a movie and it just do, 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 connect, connect, connect. What's your, for those who have used it or what have you guys created? Um, do you guys do chains? I know that I also use it, the one step looper um, on some earrings I make. Um, I really like the, I usually, on some of my gemstones, I like to use a bigger one step looper um, just because it makes that bigger, bigger loop for me. Good morning, Christina. You guys, it was not, it's not raining today. I'm so surprised. I, otherwise, I would be in here beating all day. So simple. Just again, connecting. This one-step looper to me is kind of like a you know, alcohol ink and the crafting multi mixed media um, side because alcohol ink seems kind of intimidating at first if you haven't worked with it. Kind of like the one step loop where you're like, I don't know, I don't know about this tool, right? And then you work with it and see the things that you can do with it and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to have this. Yeah, earrings. I love the ones that blue for earrings. I always feel like my loop when I'm doing loops for earrings, it takes me the longest. So again, I'm just going ahead and connecting those all those two crystals I connected with jump rings. I'm connecting them together to make one long one. And I just chose silver today because I'm connecting this uh, silver plated amethyst piece. And I'm going to go ahead and connect these together, the long one I already completed. Because I'm actually not going to make this chain go all the way. I want to add a little bit to it. So this is what I have right now. And I'm actually going to um, 
I'm gonna add, I have a stainless, cha uh, stainless steel chain here. I'm gonna add to it because I wanna make it long enough where I don't even have to use a lobster claw, but I will show you guys how easy you can connect those two. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slightly open those and I'm gonna connect this chain here. I'm just gonna bring it up so you guys can see. I'm connecting the chain, just closing that up. Then I'm just gonna do the other side as well. So I could continue and I could have done this whole necklace chain as uh, these crystals and jump rings, but I just, I tend to add curly hair and it, the crystals tend to get caught in my hair, but that is totally just a preference on my end. Um, and I have it long enough so I can just go ahead and sw swoop it over my head. Um, but if you were wanting, you could always measure out your um, sides equally. And you're just going to want to take your flush cutter and you just snip. You just snip wherever you need your chain to be snipped. And then you'd connect your lobster claw um, with a jump ring. Or... Um, and then your other side with another jump ring. I'm going to show you guys real quick. Just in case any of you guys haven't done it before, I don't want to leave any of you out. I just can't find my little lobster claw right now. Where is it? It might be hidden under here. Oh, there he is. So again, if you aren't a big beater, um, you... Having two pliers to open up your jump rings is a lifesaver. So on that cut end of the chain, I just slip the jump ring in and then I connect my lobster clasp and then I close that on up. And then on the other side, I actually, and I don't know about any of you guys, but for me, it's a preference to have two of them because I kind of fumble around on connecting my necklaces. So I will connect an extra jump ring here. And then the one that is open, I'm gonna connect, oh crap. I'm gonna connect right to the necklace chain here. You would think I drink coffee, I'm so jittery this morning. Keep fumbling everything in my hands. Okay, I just connect that and I close it on up and then they connect. Okay, now for me, I'm actually just going to have it so my chain is, or my uh, pendant is connected with a jump ring. So I'm just going to open those jump rings on up. I'm going to connect it. And I think, because the way this pendant is, I'm actually going to need two. I'm going to need two jump rings. Because I want it to lay a certain way on my neck. So, give me a second. I'm trying to do this so that you guys can see. Just close that up. And then I'm going to connect my jump ring to my chain. You guys, this makes it so much easier. You have no idea. Okay. I'm going to actually just connect him right to that jump ring. Other jump ring that's on there. On the necklace. And ta-da. Super easy. I'm going to show you this guy too. This pendant is so fun. I was just, this is the one I was playing with last night. Again, I just use the one step looper and jump rings, but I like how this is horizontal and it hangs on your neck just a tad differently. But they're so, so easy to do. Again, you don't just have to do silver. These two I did 
the jewel the crystals all the way up and again this one I only did maybe about an two and a half inches up on the chain on both sides just really is a preference again you can also do this with gemstones so easily and quickly um, it does not have to be the crystals if you are more of a natural gemstone person um, I'm just gonna quickly show you guys again this one step looper and how it works I'm gonna do the wire again I'm gonna use some gold Again, just this wire straightener it is so nice it just strains it so quickly and I'm going to show you guys with some gemstones here I'm going to go ahead and close this up a little because I think this chakra pendant right here would look awesome either of these doing chakra colors up your um, necklace as well so again you stick your wire so it comes through on this end I always make sure my loops are facing down so they're going opposite direction super easy if you're gonna if you're interested in these we do have them online and in store I'm just going to come up close one more time so you guys can see the, wi the way the wire comes through and then it comes out this hole over here. Just shake that extra piece out. The nice thing about the one step looper is it makes all of your loops the same size. If you're doing a lot of loops, it's perfect. So easy. You can sit here all day and just, it's almost therapeutic. <laughs> yeah, but the gemstones even look, or yeah, these gemstones even look awesome done with a one step looper. See? Ooh. So easy, love it. Again, it's so easy, it's so simple. You can use either wire you have at home. Um, usually, I tend to use a 20 gauge, or you can use eye pins. Um, eye pins work lovely as well, so you're only having to do one of those loops. But so easy. You can use jump rings to connect your um, crystals you do in the one step looper, or just have them connect right to each other. It is all a preference. And there's so, yes, a great Valentine's Day gift. I forget Valentine's Day is coming up. So, great gift. Um, either giving this as a gift or hinting to your sweetie that you would love this one step looper. It is life changing. Um, for me, at least, it's. I like quick and easy projects that um, look amazing and that I spent hours to make. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, we do have m other wire colors too, um, just like our eye pens if you are more into wire than getting any of these findings. And there are so many gemstones to change, choose from and they all look different. That's one thing that's great about them is these pendants, they all look a little bit different. Um, so you can find the one that speaks best to you. You guys have a great day. Have a finish up your weekend um, and get ready for the week. Enjoy some of the weather, hopefully. Thank you, everybody. Bye.